Welcome back to our homestead everyone. Welcome back to our garden and we're in front of our sweet potato patch today. We're going to talk about the best way to harvest them. Stay with us. As you can see, my sweet potato patch has been totally frozen out. We had a really early freeze here in East Texas and you can go watch my video on what survived that early freeze. I'll put it up here. But this is actually an easier way to harvest sweet potatoes. Now, you can eat sweet potato leaves and they are really nutritious and really tasty. But of course, everybody's growing sweet potatoes for the potatoes. And we're gonna show you how we find them. Now, it's a lot easier to find them after things have frozen over because all your leaves are dead. You're not digging through a jungle, literally a viney jungle, trying to find your sweet potatoes. Let's show you why this is easier. Come on down here with us. Okay, when we planted our sweet potatoes, we marked them with these bamboo uh, stakes. These stakes actually disappeared under that jungle of sweet potato flowers. So we really actually couldn't see them. We kind of knew where they were. We couldn't see them though when uh, the leaves were still alive. But now we know exactly right where our sweet potatoes are. Now, sweet potatoes will put out runners and they'll put out potatoes in other places. But most of the potatoes are gonna be where you planted the original, just like planting regular potatoes. And you can, if you don't have these markers, and I recommend that you put them in, but if you don't have these markers, you just have a big old patch of sweet potatoes, an easy way to find them is to follow the largest and thickest vine. So let me show you here. So here we go. You can see that there are so many dead vines here. They're easy to really pull up, but once you pull up on them, you're gonna start to find the places where they're anchored and you're gonna start to trace them and follow and find Look at the size of this one right here. You see the size of this stem compared to the others? You know this is where those sweet potatoes are gonna reside because it's gaining the most nutrients from sending out all those runners. And we're gonna have a nice big potato right under here. We're gonna give ourselves some working room here and we're gonna trim back with our pruning shears. Ah. Although it's a little difficult on these vines because they're a little soggy, they're a little dead. We're going to trim them back and give ourselves some space in here to work with because these things are a pain, especially when they're alive. So there, we've kind of cut things back here and we have found our sweet potato base right in there. All right, here we go. Right in here, we're going to come in near where we planted one of our stakes or planted one of our original potatoes here. I'm gonna trim things back like I showed you before just so we get some easy room to work through this. And because these vines can be a pain even when they're dead. All right, now we've got, we're in our area where a potato is. We've got everything coming out of the ground here. Let's see what we got. Oh, actually, I'm just gonna use my hands here. Oh, baby, look at this. Yeah. Ah, look at that. Gorgeous. Let's look for more. We hope you enjoyed this really easy method on how to find your sweet potatoes. Remember, look for the largest vine. If you haven't marked them, do that next year. It'll help you find them a lot easier. But look for that largest vine and cut back the other ones and wait for those leaves to freeze off. The potatoes are only gonna get sweeter in the ground. So you're not losing anything by leaving them in the ground. They're not gonna freeze. It's not gonna cause them any harm. So leave them in the ground, wait for those leaves to freeze off and you will find them a lot easier. We want you to have a great day. We want you to be here on a permanent basis. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Join our family, our growing family and our growing channel. Give us the like, hit that notification bell. Visit us on countrylivingexperience.com. Enjoy your potatoes. Have a great day. We'll see you next week in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.